Howdy. Check it out. I'm known as Dimwit, last mountain man, feared throughout the land. And I'm carrying a blanket gun here today. These are cut down um, long guns, usually a worn out uh, musket or you know, smooth bore, and, um, and they would cut them down and they use them for personal protection. And they got the name blanket gun because uh, the, the Indians would wear a blanket as a kind of a coat uh, and all, and uh, they keep it un hidden under there. And um, so that's how it got its name. And uh, we're gonna shoot this thing, and um, but I'll give you a closer look. It's a uh, 53 caliber. I'm having a little bit of issues with the sun here, but um, oh, I'm hoping it will turn out okay. And you can see on the wood here on, on this side that it's uh, affected by uh, the sweat on the belly of this uh, sweaty old mountain man or Indian or whatever had this gun. And um, so this would be uh, nice for self-protection um, as a backup gun or whatever, but uh, certainly wouldn't be your only gun. So um, let's um, load it and uh, shoot it. And um, I wish I could tell you this is another one of my ain't been shot in a century videos, but I actually shot it once before. And um, it had some issues. I couldn't get it to go off. The, the main spring was too weak. and. Uh, and um, so uh, I had to uh, make some repairs and and uh, now it should work so but it, I have shot with it before um, okay let's see I think we'll um, start out with uh, 40 grains of um, FFG black powder it's an old gun and uh, it's got a short barrel, so you probably using more powder than that is probably just a, just a waste of powder. But um, we'll see how it goes. Maybe we'll try a little more. And then, uh, if you've seen my uh, smoothbore videos before, you know that I uh, I like to use uh, flax fibers, tow, um, when I load, and um, that's what I'm gonna. It's actually kind of awkward to load a short gun like this, uh, so bear with me. Uh, I'll make a. A bowl out of this and and uh, stick it down there on top of the powder and uh, I have some um, 53 caliber round balls that I should be able to shove in down in there it drops down in there uh, quite nicely yep and uh, put some more flax fibers down in there to hold it in place. And uh, this packs 
and seals things and keep it stable and it gives good accuracy in the smooth bore but we're not going to worry about that in this gun but in my long guns it uh, works beautifully like that and um, before I cap it I'm going to put my modern glasses on just to protect my eyes and uh, and I have this um, capper I don't think we really need much more powder in it. Um, it uh, that's quite a bit of recoil, actually. Um, not painful or excessive or dangerous, but uh, I think we'll stick with 40 grains uh, in this. Uh, that's quite a. That's. Uh, Quite a bit more than what you use in a 44 Army percussion revolver, so it's not um, it's not uh, CC load any by any standards. So um, while we're at it, uh, I think we should um, shoot it again. So. Sometimes I uh, make little balls of tow uh, just to ready, uh, so um, that way it's quicker to load. Like that. seated and a little bit more will do and uh, put a cap on there Now that's a man's gun. <laughs> I guess that's it for today and um, catch you later.